Hello everybody, it's Tim here again. I'm going to be reviewing the new movie Predator, or The Predator, I guess. But right before I review that one, I figured I wanted to do another Ernest movie. Uh, yes, another Ernest flick revisited. This time Ernest Goes to School. The reason I'm doing Ernest Goes to School is because I kind of pretty much forgot about it in the last video when I revisited Ernest Goes to Jail and Slam Dunk Ernest, and I was kind of ranking them, and I kind of forgot about Ernest Goes to School. So I wanted to watch it again and revisit it. When I said Slam Dunk Ernest was probably the the worst, was the worst for me personally of the Ernest flicks, I was wrong. I forgot about Ernest Goes to School. It's easily the worst. It's not a terrible movie, but it comes close. It's passable. Just like Slam Dunk Ernest, it's another passable Ernest flick. Uh, but this is a more, this is an even lower level passable Ernest flick. I'd give it a low two stars, just like Slam Dunk Ernest, except uh, it's not as it's not as well put together. I'll say this, uh, when it was entertaining, I was more entertained by this one than I was Slam Dunk Ernest, mostly because it wasn't as like, you know, a little kid moralish as uh, Slam Dunk Ernest. Pretty much in this one, Ernest needs to keep his job, so he has to go back and get his diploma. It's an interesting idea, neat idea, sending Ernest back to school. Um, and I like the way they go about it. You got the character Bobby back here. Uh, the actor does a fun job. It's cool to see him back. And uh, you got Linda Cash playing his... Um, sister in this one and she pops up in a lot of these Ernest flicks in different roles she's actually kind of cute in my opinion in these in these movies but um yeah and they're scientists and they give make Ernest become smart and it's really cool uh seeing Jim Varney once again play two different versions of himself playing the dumb Ernest you know um and uh super smart uh a-hole Ernest who's really prideful that was neat I was entertained by that when that was going on I was more entertained by the film than I was slam dunk Ernest but once it gets to the end, the film just kind of drags. And when it gets to the end, it kind of culminates in a football game. I'm not a big sports fan, and so it was pretty boring at the end when it was just kind of like a football game. Um, although when Ernest was like helping the, his school's team like win the, the match, that was kind of entertaining. Like, <clears throat> Sarah Chalk from Roseanne is in this. And uh, she plays one of the students. And they do this thing called the Cupid Play, where she like... Uh, Flirts with this other football player and gets him to like pass her the ball. And uh, Ernest is like behind him, uh, dressed up in the tutu and stuff, shooting a Cupid arrow. That was kind of charming. That was pretty funny. And when uh, Jim Varney is uh, at doing the smart, uh, full of himself, Ernest is hilarious. Like, there's this scene where this dude's like, um, uh, these guys keep like trying to pick on Ernest, and one of them throws the football at him, and he catches it with like one hand. He's like, "Oh, I'm sorry. Did you lose this?" And he like slings it, and knocks the dude down. That was pretty funny. Uh, one of the the bullies in the film is like, I believe Will Sazzo. I think I don't know how you say his name. I think that's his name. Uh, but it's the dude from Mad TV who like started on Mad TV and did like Steven Skull parodies and everything. He was really funny on Mad TV. Here he does a good job for what he's asked to do, but he's just kind of there. Uh, there's, he's like another, he's like one of the two bullies who are like psychotically obsessed with Ernest in this movie, who just like torture him nonstop to the point where they're like setting his friggin' head on fire in the middle of school. And I, Ernest movies operate by cartoon logic, and if you're looking for too much realistic logic, you'll probably end up hating the flicks, uh, but that pushed it too much for me. You setting a dude's head on fire in school, you'd be lucky if you don't go to jail, let alone get expelled. Uh, but yeah, that was stupid. Um... And they're just, like, way too obsessed with wanting to torture Ernest. But anyway, uh, they're pretty much... There's this dude that's wanting to close the school down. Um, really, why, I don't know. It never really explains it. I, I guess he just gets a raise if he closes it down. It's really a one-note character. The villain's pretty piss poor. Uh, he wants to close the school down. And, of course, they need to win the championship to show their school deserves to stay open. So, Ernest helps him out. And it's entertaining for the most part. And when he, he has to... His machine, of course, gets broken. He has to actually study for the test for real at the end to graduate. And it's pretty funny when it's given, like, this montage of him trying to actually study. And uh, they're like, who shot John... Who shot uh, Abraham Lincoln? He's like, um, the penguin. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I, I mean, I laughed at that. Um... Uh, the movie pretty much ends with Ernest, of course, saving the day, and ends with this little device he made for this girl he has a crush on, this teacher, and it, like, goes off, and he, like, eats the battery to get it to quit. That was kind of amusing. All in all, a passable flick, a low two stars. It's watchable. It's there. Um, but like Slam Dunk Ernest, it's just one of those just there Ernest flicks. But it's it's more of a drag than Slam Dunk Ernest because it's... Not as entertaining as a whole. When it is entertaining, it's more entertaining than Slam Dunk Ernest. 
But when it's not entertaining, it drags way worse. Um, another funny scene uh, that I almost forgot is when Ernest is lost in the hall. And he, uh, this hall monitor shows up. And it's like this old west cowboy on a horse, which is really funny. Some of the cartoon like logic in the Ernest flicks is really funny, quirky stuff. Other stuff like when he gets his head set on fire, that's just really stupid. But uh, yeah, that was entertaining. Um, yeah, all in all, just a low two-star passable flick, and I'll see you guys again with The Predator.